Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today I'm going to show you our animation engine for PaperVision 3D. And this is pretty much a pre-alpha release. Today we're only going to show you how to use it, and we'll be releasing the code completely on the next iteration. This uh, demo was built for our box modeling series, and we were going to build a jet plane in the series, and I wanted to show it flying around the screen. And in the process, I actually been working on a uh, closed captioning system for Lexmark and I realized I could build a state engine and actually animate the plane as well and I've done that. Now there's three factors to this particular animation engine. One, it uses states as opposed to keyframes and so we have this state programming and uh, basically you're in a certain state and you move from state to state and like the closed captioning system when you're done with one state you move to the other. It uses the DOM for recording. I'm very excited about that. We actually wrote this XML file system specifically for paper vision and the files as a result are very small animation files. You can animate for five minutes and only have a few K, so it's pretty cool. Uh, of course there's a million issues, it's like a pre-alpha, it's only about 1200 lines of code and I wrote it in about two days and we're going to come along here and put the Cairngorm uh, architecture on top of it next, so I didn't pay a lot of attention to scoping the variables and you'll see that in the code and if you want to test it out the address is www.nkuflc.org forward slash jets Let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, demo right now. So here it is, you'll get this screen. You can see uh, there's some directions here. Right arrow to turn right, left arrow to turn left, forward, backwards, up and down. A is pitch, Z is pitch minus, uh, S is yaw plus, X is yaw, minus D rolls, and C minus rolls. So just click on the plane you want to uh, fly. So we'll click on the first one. And we're actually running this off the web, so you can see it run on the web. And so you get this little plane here in the background, so you can actually use your control keys to fly it around the screen. You can hold more than one key down at the same time. So I've got a little, flying in a little figure eight here just by switching two sets of keys at one time. So if you want multiple effects, just hold down multiple keys. Okay, and that's flying around. And if you want to just reset, reset. Okay, and it should reset, the, and the plane is reset. Or you can go back and you choose another plane. Let's choose the other plane, the red plane. And we can once again fly that around too. Or we can roll it, you know, and pitch it and yaw it just by changing the keys. Or hold all three keys uh, down at once and you can see it's just kind of, and then let's go back and forth. Yeah, your plane's moving all over the place. So it's really fun to do that. And that's initially what I had designed for the uh, demo. And I said, you know, I can animate this. So let's go back and grab it, reset everything. We've got plane one. And let's show you how to animate the plane. Very simple to do. Okay, let's come along here and animate a plane. It's actually very simple to do. You just come along here and you put in the name of the animation. We'll call it Plane Test. And you hit Submit. So once you hit Record, the milliseconds will reset. The plane reappears on the screen and you can start flying. So just start pressing the keys, fly around. Let's go up. Okay, let's come along over here. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's fly around. Yay, come toward me. Okay, let's do. I love this one. Let's do a roll, or and let's let's, let's bring it down as you roll. Help. Let's go back. Okay. Fly around. You can hold two keys down at the same time. Get multiple effects. And there's your animation. Okay. So once you're done, just hit the stop button. And you can see the name appears right in the menu. And if you want to go ahead and play that, just click on it. And your plane will appear in the window here in a moment and the anim you can see the milliseconds are ticking away and the animation begins there's my roll now you can see there's a lot that needs to be done with this and uh, but it's a lot of fun and it's a great start so just kind of an idea of how the engine works. Uh, go ahead and play around with it. Go right to the website. Uh, make your own animations. And uh, I think there's a lot of potential here for this to be used in paper vision.